What's up everybody? Let's get ready to rock and roll today. We do have a seven station rotation for you today. 36 on, 14 off as we're going through. I suppose I should start my timer so we actually... Let's get started in that total body extension. Yes, I did. I don't remember doing it, but... Because it started a couple minutes ago. <laughs> Total body extensions here if you haven't already. So again, seven stations, 36 on, 14 off. We're gonna do two twice before we move on to the next station and come back through a second time. Little finisher for you to crank it up at the end. First one up, we have a two dumbbell reverse lunge. Take a nice big step back, push your weight to that front leg, push through that front heel to drive back up. But try to keep your weight balanced in that front leg. We're not only back in the heel. You should be able to wiggle those toes and still keep the ball of your foot heavy. So we're not up on the toes, but nice and balanced on the foot. You can choose uh, if you want to stay on the same side. A little bit more challenging. You're going to alternate sides. Let's go squat and overhead reach. You want to really control that movement though. Then we have a seam turtle on our belly. Squeeze it up. Draw those elbows down. Then, let's go leg swings in that warm up. If you have a slam ball, we're gonna use it for toe taps and ball slams. 10 and 10. If you don't, you can do those toe taps and go mock slams with a dumbbell or nothing at all, just fire that core as you come to the bottom. Waiter carries up next. Single dumbbell, bring it on up, nice and tall. Keeping those ribs down, we're in jumping jacks in that warm up. Nice and tall, make sure that arm stays tall. Wrist is neutral as well. Whew. Then we have a curtsy lunge, single dumbbell. Pull it up underneath that chin. Let's go to that total body again. Stepping back and behind. Again, you can stay on the same side for that whole 36, a little bit more of a challenge. Nice and controlled up and down, or you can switch every other one. Then we have a one and a half stance bench row. Single dumbbell, squeeze up, pause the top, control it down. All right, back to that squat and overhead reach. Number seven, we have a combo, a little core combo coming down on our back. You can put your hand under the small heel of the back, you can put them behind your head, you can have them out to the sides. We have six flutter kicks into six scissor kicks. All right, let's go into some leg swings in that warm up again. Once we finish uh, through those seven stations, again, keep doing each move twice before we move on, we'll come back through for a second pass. And then we have a 60 second, 60 second finisher at the end. Just one minute of work. We have 10 high knees for every burpee. So getting those knees on up. You can choose 10 total or 10 per side. Burpee at the bottom. Hop them back into it, right back in for those high knees. Let's go to some jumping jacks in that warm up. Again, just 60 seconds. Cranking up in that finisher, there really is very minimal cardio in the rest of the workout. So don't worry, you'll be just fine. All right, think about what weights you're gonna use. We got 20 seconds. Ten to go. Two dumbbell reverse lunge. Three, two, one. Nice and controlled. Smooth on the way up, slow and smooth on the way down. Ten seconds. Ooh. 
three, two, one. All right. We're going to switch sides. If you stay on one side, if you did, if you alternated, keep alternating. Here we go. Three, two, one. Five seconds. Two, one. All right, coming down for sea turtle. Three, two, one. Squeeze it up. Draw those elbows down. Five to go. Two, one. Whew. Here goes three, two, one. Down to ten. Two, one. All right, coming back up. Toe taps and ball slams, and toe taps, toe taps and box slams. Ten and ten. Ten for side with toe taps. Ten ball slams. Three, two, one. Couple seconds. Two, one. All right, waiter carry coming up. Two stations down. Three, two, one. Recommend your non dominant side first. Because the last thing I want is you to be able to go too heavy on your strong side and not be able to meet it on the other side. Made that mistake many, many times. Woo. Five to go. Two. 
two, one. You notice that my hand there is kind of just holding the ribs, making sure they weren't flying up. Just as a guide, not really necessarily holding them, but just as a detection device if I was flared a little bit. Two, one. You want to make sure we're not arching that back.
one. Here we go, three, two, one. You can make it easier, bring it up a little higher. Over halfway. Seconds. Two, one. All right, coming back up. Reverse lunge. Yeah, if you need to make it a little bit easier this time, alternate legs. If you need to crank it up and you need to alternate, go single leg. Here we go. Two, one. Still smooth. Three, two, one. Ooh, hands are getting sweaty. Let's get ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. All right. Coming down for sea turtle. On your belly. Three, two, one. Five seconds. Two, one. Here we go. Coming back. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Ooh. Here we go. Three, two, one. Five seconds. Two, one. Whew. 
Second crack at it. Pick up where you left off in three, two, one. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. All right, curtsy lunch time. Five seconds. Three, two, one.
three, two, one. Six per side. You can do that. Sometimes that just gives you a little mental release, mental break, a distraction. Make sure that low back is under control. The way my brain works sometimes is the more switches I have, too. One. So the shorter the number, the more switches, the longer it seems for me. So again, so I just know yourself, play little games with yourself to get through things. Three, two, one. And have deliberate swings of those legs. seconds. Ooh. 
All right, we're gonna switch your hands from chest straight up, and front leg reach down the front shin. Alright, all done, have a great day, keep up the great work.